I'm like really stressing out about this test tomorrow. Just remember that. What are they doing down there? Just ignore them. So using elimination, we know that positive S and negative S would cancel out. So that's it. I've had enough of this. I'm so done with them making all of this noise. Let's go. Hello, guys. Guys, come on. You know we're studying upstairs. Please keep it down. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Come on, guys. Let's just get our work over with. Give me the Give control. Me the control. I have one slow pot and two algae forts. That'll be 50 V-Bucks. I have one slow pot and two hepta jug. That'll be 57 V-Bucks. Thank you. Um, for some odd reason, the system didn't seem to scan this algae fort. You're gonna have to wait for the system to reboot. We don't have that kind of time. Luckily, I think I know how to solve it using elimination. I purchased two hepta jugs and one slow pot for 74 V-Bucks. Jordan purchased two algae forts and one slow pot for 50 V-Bucks. And Robert purchased one hepta jugs and two algae forts for 57 V-Bucks. Let's make hepta jugs H, algae forts A, and slow pots S. We know that our first equation is 2H plus S equals 74 V-Bucks. And our second equation is 2A plus S equals 50 V-Bucks. And our third equation is H plus 2A equals 57 V-Bucks. We see that the first and second equations have the like terms of s, so we can subtract s minus s to eliminate them, leaving us with 2h minus 2a equals 24. I see opposites. Now we can add 2h minus 2a equals 24, plus h plus 2a equals 57. We know that 3h equals 81. Then we will divide 3 by both sides to get h equals 27. We can plug that into our original equation, 2 times 27 plus s equals 74. 54 plus S equals 74. You would subtract 54 from both sides, leaving you with S equals 20. Now we look at 27 plus 2A equals 57. We would then subtract 27 from both sides, which is the subtraction property of equality, which is 2A equals 30. The last step is to divide 2 by both sides. Wait, wait, hold on there. I'm still so confused. How is an algebra for 15 V-Bucks? So we solve for H now? No, we are solving for A. Ugh, let me explain it a different way. Here are the equations again. The three equations are 2H plus S equals 74, 2A plus S equals 50, and H plus 2A equals 57. In this equation, 2A plus S equals 50, to isolate S, subtract by 2A on both sides. Then you are left with S equals 50 minus 2A. Good job, my dude. You look at equation three and subtract by 2a on both sides. You are then left with h equals 57 minus 2a. You plug in the value of h and s and get 2 times 57 minus 2a plus 50 minus 2a equals 74. After distributing and combining like terms, you get 114 minus 4a plus 50 minus 2a equals 74. You combine like terms and now 164 minus 6a equals 74. Now we have 164 minus 6a equals 74. We will then subtract 164 on both sides, leaving us with negative 6a equals negative 90. We will then divide negative 6 on both sides, leaving us with a equals 15. Oh my gosh, I finally get how algebra for it is 15 V-Bucks. We did it! After working through that problem together, I think we all will ace this test tomorrow. Even you, Robert. <laughs> <laughs>